look at that. Another level 5 sandbar after the troll we got yesterday. I normally wouldn't get my hopes up too much knowing how frequently this species troll, except that this time it is a guaranteed diamond. So I'ma sneak up to him and we're gonna try to find some cover close to the zone because I would like to use the collar to get him inside the recurve range. Ok, we have full cover here. So I'ma make a few calls and this guy should come in at any moment. Alright, apparently he's coming in. Well, that's a level 3, but the 5 seems to be just behind. Now this level 3 is gonna spook, and I just hope that doesn't affect the level 5. Although the 5 is already at 40, which is within the bow range. So let's see if we get a good angle here. He's walking. And as soon as he stops, we're gonna take the shot. Ok. He is down, should have been a double long. Now let's see a score of this giant sambar, he is pretty much a guaranteed diamond and finally our first diamond sambar tier. 168.75, there we have it. He is a diamond, and although he is not a massive diamond, what matters is that he didn't troll. Level 9 Kangaroo our 6th max level kangaroo. So far we have gotten 5 trolls and I don't think there's a good reason to think this one will finally be the diamond, but let's be optimistic and let's kill this guy because you never know. So I'ma alert him. And as soon as he stands up, I'ma drop him using the Malmer 7mm. Let's see. And that will do it. As always, when harvesting a legendary kangaroo is good to not expect anything because probably like one of every 10 level 9 kangaroos are gonna be trolls. Let's see how big it is. Oh, 495.99 diamond. He's a diamond. Her first diamond kangaroo finally after 5 trolls. Alright, we're reaching a relatively open area where I would expect to finally be able to spot this guy. And in fact there he is. So the question is, is he a level 7, level 8 or a level 9? Let's see. Oh! No way, he's a level 9. Honestly, I was not expecting him to be level 9 since we got a Diamond Red Fox back on May and the last one before that was on early 2021, which means that we had to wait around a year between our last two diamonds, so definitely finding another one just roughly 4 months after the last one is not too bad. Kinda lucky I would say considering how rare the legendary foxes are. Ok, there he is again. Can we drop him here? He is less than 100 meters out, so it should be rather simple. I might use the 243 Cuomo, let's see. I mean, as I said, it will be an easy shot, as long as he gives us a good angle, of course. Which is not happening. So we'll have to continue a chase, unfortunately. Now, maybe we'll get a second chance here. Well, I hope. We need to spot him. Come on, where is him? Right there. Oh. Man, I absolutely hate when they speed up like that, it's very annoying. I mean, it's a harmless bug, but it's simply not right. Alright, let's go for it. Roughly 100 meters out. We are zeroed for 100. Can we hit a double long? Yeah, he's down. Finally, it was a long chase. Now, let's see if it is in fact a diamond. You know, the estimate was promising, 13 to 16, definitely a good estimate. And in addition to that, the fact that level 9 foxes rarely ever troll definitely gives us a very good reason to be optimistic. 14.13, he's a diamond. Our first diamond red fox on Emerald Coast. As you can see, we hit it double long at 96 meters after a pretty significant chase of 2.8 kilometers. Not too bad. Oh, 
Ok, Warnicle. Must be him. He's a level 3. Level 3. No way, finally. About time we are finally gonna have the opportunity to drop a level 3 stubble quell. Alright, he's taking off again. And he's actually flying this way. Okay. Let's get ready. He is down. Maybe our first time on Stowell Quell. Man, I've been looking for one of these since the map came out and it's been quite a grind. So it's just amazing to finally be able to conclude this multiplayer grind and finally be able to focus on the last diamond we need which is the Mech by Goose. He's a 240.11, he's a diamond, our first diamond Stowell Quell. Simply a fantastic trophy. Alright, there goes the herd. I assume the big one is with them. I don't see it. Only a level 4 and a level 3. None of them is max estimate. And again, apparently he ran away a few seconds before we arrived, which may be a good sign because if it is big, then it has to be more skittish than the rest of the herd. Okay, is that him? No? Oh! Now that one is massive! I mean, that's a diamond. I haven't even spotted it and I already know it's a diamond because those horns are gigantic. Yeah, level 5. Up to 147 score, pretty much a guaranteed diamond. How much shoot this one? We hit a barrel on the second shot. Now we're gonna shoot this level 5. He's 75 meters out, roughly. I'm gonna use the 470. And that's it, that should have been a barrel. Yeah, he's going down. Luckily, he didn't go too far. Alright, let's see the score of this panting. We know it is pretty much a guaranteed diamond, so the only question is exactly how big. It looks massive. Let's see the size. 144.29, it is a massive diamond and it's a max weight. Max weight banting. 800 kilograms. Huge diamond. Certainly the biggest one I've gotten so far, at least weight wise. And look at this shot. Nice double long stomach and liver at 89 meters using the 470 nitro. Wait, look at that. Level 5 Feral Goat, that's a big goat. I mean, he is far from being a guaranteed diamond, and actually with those horns he is likely a troll, but we gotta kill it to know for sure because there's still a chance. I'ma drop him here using the Terry Terry, and I would love to hit the heart. Let's see. Oh, what? What happened there? I guess we got affected by that infamous bug that happens every once in a blue moon. And now this guy is getting far, and we're gonna have to track him, unfortunately. So that fox is gonna pay. Oh, come on. Come on. Man, what's going on? Now this kangaroo wants to fight, but honestly I'm not in the mood. Just die. Oh my god. <laughs> was that a neck shot again? Unbelievable, it was a neck shot again. No way. What's up with these unintentional neck shots? And about time, after chasing this code for about 30 minutes, we're finally gonna have the chance to shoot him. So let's make sure we get a viral. And that should be enough to take him down, assuming we actually got a long. Okay, 50 to 75, it was actually a good shot. You know, the feral goats are actually just as troll happy as the kangaroos, so honestly I don't expect it to make it. And he's a diamond, 209.45, no way. Our first diamond feral goat on Emerald Coast. I don't recall the last time I got a level 5 feral goat that wasn't a troll, so this is a very special trophy. Oh, look. A level 3 hog tier bedded right there. So I wonder if the diamond is also on that zone because the trucks are heading in that direction. And look at that. 
there we have it. As you can see, he's a gigantic level 4 with a top estimate of 129 and a bottom estimate of 113, while the diamond score is 108. So he's not only a guaranteed diamond, but he's a really big one. Now we are very close from this guy, probably around 40 meters out. And what I have noticed while hunting hog deer is that they are not as skittish as other deer species. They don't spook as easy as, let's say, the sambar deer or the rosa deer, so it's generally easier to approach them and consequently way easier to hunt them. Alright, we are actually 30 meters out from this guy, so let's get ready. I'ma use the hockage. Let's see. We should be around 20 now. And now he's alert. Alright, not the best shot, but we hit a single long. Now let's see what it scores. At a first glance it looks way bigger than the first diamond we got, which was a level 5. And I'm pretty sure this guy has a different fur type as well, because as far as I remember, the level 5 had a spotted fur type, and this one I believe is a brown. Now let's see the score. 114.76, he's a massive diamond, well above the diamond score which is 108, and look at the antlers, way bigger than the level 5 we got the other day. Level 5 feral pig. How crazy is that? Like, the only reason I managed to spot it is because I heard the call from a female and I turned around because otherwise I would have completely ignored the group since I was chasing a max estimate fox. No way. I mean, I'm still gonna go for the fox because it could also be a diamond potential, but first I gotta shoot this guy. Come on. He's still calm. Ok, now he's attentive. And now he's alert. Let's go for it. He is down, we dropped him. I was not expecting to get another diamond for this video, but here we have this guy, which may be the third diamond of the hunt in our first diamond feral pig here on Emerald Coast. Let's see a score. 145.99, it is a diamond. A beautiful black gold diamond feral pig. I honestly thought we hit the heart, but surprisingly we didn't, because as you can see we hit the left lung, the liver, the stomach, the intestines, pretty much everything on this feral pig, we destroyed it using the Moradi model 1887, so very nice trophy, definitely a nice way to conclude the hunt. No way. Max level Rosadier. His estimate goes up to 154, and now the question is, will he make it? That is a good question for sure. We got a diamond hog deer yesterday, and now we may have another diamond. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this stack doesn't make it, because from what I have seen, based on the experience of other creators, the rosa deer seems to be another species that likes to troll a lot. Maybe not to the degree of the kangaroos, but definitely finding a level 5 is far from being a guarantee of a high enough score. Oh, look at that. I may be wrong, but I believe that level 4 was with the 5 the first time I saw it. So there's a good chance the big one is also buried right there. Shouldn't be too far from that 4. Alright, there's a hind. And I think that the big one is buried next to it. There we have it. He's roughly 90 meters out, so I'm alert him, and let's go for it. We got him, he's down. Here we have what is our first ever level 5 Rosadier and perhaps our second diamond on Emerald Coast. He's an absolute monster, the antlers are massive, and I really hope he's big enough. Let's see. 148.88, he's a diamond, barely. You know the diamond score is 148.78, so this guy is only 10 decimals above diamond. What a monster. And 
finally, right before reaching 200 harvests, I just spotted what is the first level 5 of the grind. Our first level 5 mech by goose, and maybe the last goose we kill on this grind because I have no intention to continue it once I get the first diamond. You know, we cannot be sure if it is in fact a diamond, and we shouldn't get our hopes up too much because in the last few months I've seen a lot of troll mech by geese posted, and apparently a series very common here on Emerald Coast, they could be considered a troll happy species. You know, maybe not to a degree of the kangaroos and the rosa deer, which are known for trolling all the time, but they certainly troll quite often based on what I've seen. So I really hope this guy will make it, and I also hope he'll land close enough to our tripod to be able to use the record for it, because I would love to drop him with it. Ok, he's starting the landing animation, let's see. We gotta hurry up. And he's down. It was a very simple shot, but we needed to take it quickly since he landed incredibly close and he was probably about to spook. So anyway, let's see if this guy is in fact our first time on Mech by Goose. You know, as I said earlier, we shouldn't get our hopes up too much due to the fact that these guys troll quite often, but let's not keep thinking about that and let's simply claim it. Hopefully a diamond. 3.88, he's a diamond, that's it. You know, he is not a giant diamond, he's actually barely over the diamond score, but what matters is that we finally have our diamond goose and we finally achieved our goal of getting every single diamond in the game, once again. No way! Level 5 axis here, he came out of nowhere. And there's the fox. Hey, the mythical. Well, the fox won't be diamond, but that doesn't matter because now we have an actual diamond potential. So we're gonna quickly drop this red fox before we go for the axis. And he's down. Let's see a score. 12.6. And ignore the tracking distance, that was ridiculous. Well, there's the axis here. He's resting. He's faded and the wind is absolutely perfect. You know what that means, right? I mean, I could easily drop him from here using the rifle, but... I wanna drop him using the recurve. Okay, we're roughly 50 meters out. I think I'ma go on top of that rock to gain some elevation. You know, that is a tall rock, so it won't be too different from being on a tripod. Let's see. 25 meters out, really close. And he's still buried, he's still calm. Perfect position to go for the shot. Let's go for it. And that's it, we got him. So now the question is, will this be the first diamond of the hunt? I definitely think it will, it looks really really big. Let's see. And it's a diamond, 229.28, really big diamond, our first diamond axis here on Emerald Coast, really big diamond. As you can see we hit the lever in a single long at 25 meters using the new takedown record bow and well that is the first diamond of the hunt. Absolutely amazing, like the only reason we found this guy is because we were really struggling to find the level 8 fox because if we found that fox quicker we simply wouldn't have reached the area where this guy was living. Level 9 Crocodile The second level 9 crocodile we see in a span of 10 days. And the estimate this one has is a lot more promising, 999 to 1169, that's most likely diamond. I mean, in order to troll it has to score really close to the bottom of the estimate, which is unlikely. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna get very close to this crocodile because I would love to get him using the recurve just as we did with the last diamond. The only difference is that this time I'ma make sure to use the 600 green arrows because the last time we used the 420s which are a bit underpowered against the crocodiles although they are still ethical. Let's see how far we are, we gotta get to 40. A hundred meters out, still a bit too far. Level 10, 
Now, in case you're wondering, at the moment we're on this location, I was originally planning to visit this area up here because it is a really good spot for both Java and Roos and Sambartir, but then I stumbled across this crocodile and, well, change of plans. He's roughly 60 meters out now. Ok, 42 meters out, that's a good distance. Already within the ideal range to use the bow and he is perfectly broadside. So let's go for it. Let's see. Gotta be careful. And that should be the Wolong. He's going down. He died right there like 5 times quicker than when I used the 420 grain arrows. Now let's see if this is in fact the first diamond of the hunt, there's a very high chance it is because as I said the estimate was very promising, although we cannot rule out the possibility of it being a troll since the crocodiles like to troll quite frequently. 1022.01 he's a diamond, our second diamond crocodile in the last 10 days. Ok guys, we're still hunting on multiplayer and I just spotted a giant red deer. A truly giant red deer. He was over there, he's part of that herd. Should be close. Honestly, I can't wait to shoot this guy because the red deer is the only diamond I still haven't gotten here on Emerald Coast, so if this one makes it, we would complete our collection on this map, and I believe we would only need to get a diamond grey wolf on Medved Taiga to finally get every single diamond of every single map. So where is him? Are they coming back? Ok, there he is, he's alert. Oh, we missed the heart, and I really hope, I really hope we didn't hit the school on the second shot. I mean, it was very dumb to shoot him a second time while he was on that position, because even though we missed the heart on the first shot, it was still most likely battle, so it was completely unnecessary to shoot him a second time. That was a really bad mistake, I really hope we didn't mess it up, but I think it's likely. We made a free in the opportunity to get our first time on Red Deer on Emerald Coast. And in such a dumb way. Let's see. He's a diamond, 253.12. We didn't hit the school, luckily. No way. Our first time on Red Deer on Emerald Coast, as you can see we hit a single long the stomach and the liver on the first shot, and fortunately we missed the skull by an inch on the second attempt. Man, we were very lucky this time, honestly we deserve to lose the diamond medal because we made a terrible mistake, but I will take it, that is our first time on Red Deer on Emerald Coast, and now we have all the diamonds on this map. Ok, he's alert. Less than 50 meters out. Now he's attentive. Luckily he's facing your way and he cannot see us, so it should be very easy to get even closer. He's still on the same position. Not a great angle. So what I'ma do here is that I'ma let him to make him turn around, then we can go for a barrel. Let's go for it. Oof. Alright, apparently we got him good, but for a moment I thought we messed it up. Yeah, he's down. Now let's see a score of this fallow deer, potentially the second diamond of the hunt. Let's see a score. 253.51, he's a diamond, a small diamond but a diamond on the list. So that's it guys, that is the second diamond of the day and our first diamond followed here here on Emerald Coast, not too bad.